Hello everyone and welcome back to the Geek Productive YouTube channel. Today we are checking out an application that is currently in beta and that was released on Product Hunt today. Now this application is called Clover. It's currently available on Windows and Mac and will be coming to the iOS. Uh, it's currently in uh, test flight beta on iOS and it is this note-taking application called Clover. Now this application is visually very similar to Notion and it's very much the same in terms of creating a notes and uh, being able to connect them together um, and also being able to link them together as sort of like a wiki experience, but also has elements of apps like Mila Note and Dropbox Paper in it. Today's video, I'm gonna overview the application, give you my thoughts and opinions as a first impression and naturally share a little bit more about the app. Now, let's first take you to the pricing. Now, the pricing is uh, fairly reasonable, sort of basic, uh, sort of setup pricing. So at the moment, they've got a free plan. So that's good for up to three guests, 500 blocks, very similar to how Notion launched, um, and also 50 megabytes of uploads. There's also title search only. So this app plan is reasonable to get you started, but if you did commit to this, then you're probably gonna find yourself in the pro plan fairly fast. Now, if I did go to the monthly pricing and let's look at the intro pricing, $7.50 per month, that gives you unlimited guests, blocks and uploads and full search across the pages. So it seems to be what the pro plan in, in Notion is like. Um, and as you can see, if you go to the annual plan, it's gonna cost you much less, so six times 12, uh, which is uh, 72. Uh, dollars per year, which is a little bit steeper. Uh, but again, this application touts having a much more creatively focused experience. So the app's split into two. Um, you've got something called Surfaces, um, which is essentially a diagram builder, mini whiteboard inside your application, inside of the app, and documents. So for notes and for document taking. Let's start with creating a new surface. So as you can see here, um, let's just call it demo one. This is the service surface in front of you and I can make it a little bit bigger. I'm currently stuck on cursor mode, so obviously it's empty, uh, but I can double tap to start writing. So if I said like, um, you know, uh, video ideas, uh, as you can see, I can do all the sort of basic text formatting, but the sort of real magic is where I can create um, blocks. So I can see here that uh, I can modify that. I can make um, diagrams uh, between so for example, in this case, I can go, okay, this is a squiggly line <laughs> and uh, I can connect them to each other too. So if I were to make a separate box, you can see there that I could connect them using lines. So uh, it's very basic in terms of a um, diagram uh, abilities. So obviously I'm not demonstrating it in full fashion, uh, however, it gives you a basic idea of how it works. It's a canvas, not as advanced as Miro, but definitely um, quite useful when it comes to um, adding uh, documents. Uh, say if you wanna upload a image uh, to be able to annotate, this could be helpful for those who are demonstrating wireframes, um, app icons, uh, visual stuff that you and your team might uh, want to collaborate on. You can also share that by inviting people with a public link if you want to, or inviting them as a guest. Remember on the free plan, you get up to three guests via email, which is fairly good. You can also um, move to presentation mode, but I think I'm in not, I don't have the frame abilities at the moment. So moving past that, that is more of the creative element of it. Obviously um, the video that we're showing on screen here shows it in more of a, a demonstrative purpose um, of how it really is used, but you can create a document, which is very much uh, like creating a document in other applications. So if I would say, hello, testing Clover, I can do uh, the regular sort of text formatting to it. I can turn it into a task, a checklist if I want to, uh, a regular bullet list if I find that helpful. I can press the slash command to get up all of the regular text formatting. I can add interactive elements like Figma, YouTube, and Im image, but not any uh, table formatting and anything like that. I can share this as well, much like I would have shared the um, the surface. Um, but you can see here that uh, sort of the pages appear down here and you, you can link the pages up. 
So for example, if I wanted to link one up, let me find, uh, if I type in doc, Okay, so I can create pages within pages. Uh, I'm not sure if I can link a surface up, uh, but let me uh, just see whether I can link up two separate pages. There we go. So pages can sort of become interactive. Not as advanced as a craft, but helpful for being able to set up basic layouts. So that's really not as impressive, in my opinion, in terms of docs. Obviously, I'm really touching the surface here um, and going through the basics, but... Um, oh, you can link surfaces. Okay, so that's really helpful um, if you wanted to create a new surface inside of a document, which is really nice. Um, I can move stuff around as well. I can copy links to those elements. So there we go. So I can see there that I've uh, created a link between the two, which is quite helpful. So there is an element of bank linking. So you can see a bank linking up here, which is quite handy. But in terms of the pages, um, fairly basic at the moment. It's in beta. Don't expect much more. Um, but this is where the real sort of planner magic comes in. So they've got this really nice looking daily notes structure. So you can basically go to say today and I can start like going, okay, uh, say I can get um, a book finished and uh, organize uh, next shopping trip. So you can add the basic sort of stuff, but they've got this cool quick Add. So for example, if I was like, okay, uh, finish book notes on essentialism. And if I'd say, okay, say tomorrow, if I spell tomorrow right, at 2 p.m. And I can add that instantaneously. And if I go to tomorrow, I skipped ahead a week there. If I go to tomorrow, I can see that that's been moved and quick added to that area. So I quite like that quick add ability. That's a really nice little sort of plain um, plain language terms, uh, natural language that you can add. Um, and obviously that's sort of a good start to the, the free plan. So I'm just wondering how I can find out how much um, I've used in my plan so far. Let me see settings. So here we go. I've, I've managed to use 21 blocks and three images, uh, th three uh, out of 50 megabytes on images. I can change my iconography. I can go dark, which I think a lot of people are liking, and I can change the shade and the tint of the left-hand sidebar, as well as what the highlight's like as well. So this application, and you can also modify the sidebar a little bit more. So if I was like, okay, let's go full, keep productive. Um, I think I knew that. There we go, I can go full, keep productive. <laughs> and make that sidebar much more personalized. So at a, at a glance, this application, uh, I think has three core elements to it. The surfaces elements, which is a great way uh, to do some basic visualization of diagrams and uh, some maybe some wireframing and demonstrations and be able to share that. It has some really nice basic documents that has the simplicity of using it uh, as paper, but potentially the future potential of apps like craft documents. And it has this really nice daily notes ability up here, uh, allowing you to organize and using quick add to be able to organize them in much uh, more detailed fashion, uh, sorry, much more quick fashion. I think this application is pretty impressive um, in terms of it's what it looks like and what the potential is there. I, I really do like it. I think the pricing it could be a little bit cheaper. Um, I think $5 is a fairly reasonable one to accept. Um, however, I think this application seems to have done well from uh, what they sort of get, got started on. Um, I'm not sure how you can go about creating these temp timeline side. Uh, maybe I need to look a little bit deeper into the experience. Um, however, that's uh, what a detailed review will bring out very soon. Um, and hopefully uh, we can sort of cover in a bit more detail, but I think it's um, a good first shot uh, at that. Um, I think the pricing's a little bit steep, as I said, but an impressive first take by Clover. Um, hopefully I'll do an in-depth review soon as I play around with it more, but I thought I'd share a little bit about the sort of basics of it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.